Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Thursday's card, December 7th, 2023. It is Football Thursday at DocSports.com. Today's the day of the week. You can get all of my NFL plays for the entire week, Thursday right through Monday, over at DocSports.com on my Handicappers homepage. A real nice week last week, including another seven-star winner in the NFL. We had the Niners who destroyed the Philadelphia Eagles uh, last Sunday, and uh, we're going to look to continue the winning ways now with uh, this week's NFL slate, and that includes a seven-star on Sunday, multiple game card. We'll look to stay hot over the last week. I'm now 21 and seven heading into Thursday. 75% winners end up over 5,300 bucks. You can see it on your scroll along the bottom of your screen there. How well we've been doing. We hit a seven-star play on Tuesday night. Uh, in college basketball with UConn. We came back on Wednesday and swept my college basketball led by a six-star play on Marquette. That top play run has now won six in a row, and we're now 135 and 88, up exactly $19,000 during this long-term run. So if you want to jump on board, check it out on Thursday. Uh, I do have NHL on Thursday, real short college basketball card. I'm taking a pass, and also a real short NBA card, just the two tournament games passing those also but I am involved in the NHL and all of my NFL plays for this week's card will be available on Thursday afternoon on my homepage at DocSports.com. I look to stay red hot in all sports. Uh, let's get to the free play. It is tonight's college basketball. It's Eastern Illinois hosting IUPUI. Uh, this game tips off at 8 p.m. Eastern time tonight. And I'm going to recommend a play on Eastern Illinois. I'm cutting this video around 2.30 a.m. Eastern time on Thursday morning. And right now, Eastern is about a four-and-a-half point favorite. I saw one book at five, but everybody else uh, sitting at four-and-a-half. They're not going to intimidate anybody if you just look at Eastern Illinois stats. But the bottom line is IUPUI, guys, is a disaster. Uh, the Jaguars have posted horrible stats, and they've done it mostly against very bad teams. They played one decent team all year. That was Indiana State. They got beat by like 40 points in that one. Uh, but they're 330th and 347th in offensive and defensive adjusted efficiency, uh, respectively. They can't shoot. They don't defend well. Uh, they look at If you look at their accuracy numbers, you'll see they're one of the worst teams in turnover percentage, accuracy numbers, of course, offensive shooting and defensive field goal and three-point shooting allowed. And again, they've done it against really bad opponents. Meanwhile, at least if you watched Eastern Illinois, they took on Illinois early this season. And then a couple of games ago, they actually played at Fog Allen Fieldhouse and they were within one point of Kansas with five minutes to go in the game. Now I know Kansas was flat. They looked to be looking past Eastern, but at least they can bring it uh, when teams may not be at their A game. And they've taken on a couple, again, decent teams where as of yet, we haven't seen IUI, IUPUI play anybody. And again, uh, the numbers for Eastern better than IUPUI. And I just think this number is too short in my betting opinion. I really thought it was going to come about six and a half. It's four and a half. I like Eastern Illinois minus the points over IUPUI, your free play for Thursday's card. And don't forget, we got all the plays over on my homepage at DocSports.com. The premium plays 21 and seven is the current run up over 5,300 bucks. Have my NFL for the entire week over there this afternoon on Thursday, led by the seven-star play. And uh, you can go check it out if you want to jump on board. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put them in the win column, everybody.